see a trace of him. There he is clean. Unbelievable incompetence. Now, if I were a mentally unbalanced homicidal prison escapee, where would I go? Hmm. Mount up. We're done here. I need to talk to you now, T. Do you remember You're this place? almost there. It's your neighborhood. You're getting close, T. Don't stop now. Explain it to me. T! I'm up here! Time's wasting and things can only get worse. This is it. In here. God, this is where it all went wrong.
Oh, T. I remember being so happy at how good you were doing with the boys. And I think I know who took that all away from us. I never threw any of it out. Some of my girlfriends now, they get mad at their boyfriend or husband or whoever. They throw away everything that reminds them of him. Burn it up, tear it to pieces, whatever. As mad as I got at T, I never threw out any of the things that made me remember him. Part of me wanted to forget he ever happened. But another part of me wouldn't let go of the hope that it would all work out in the end. Corey and Malcolm mean everything to me. And it's because of them I get so mad at T. I just want what's best for them, and sometimes I don't know if their father realizes how important he is to their happiness. But T's been doing a good job with them since I moved to Manhattan. Now I miss them more than I ever imagined. And I know I have to be with them again. And if that means taking T back, well, stranger things have happened. Right over here, in your room. Just stay up a little bit longer. The bedroom, T. Don't you remember where it is? Please, T. We don't have a lot of time. Come on, Malcolm. Not bad. Give it back. That's pretty good, T. You're really trying Just to make a good home for the boys, T. Face it. I'm proud of you. Come into the bedroom, T. Good, T. This is the place. It's in your closet. Open it up and see what you find. The papers should remind you about your own life. Look at them, T, please. If you don't remember what happened then, you'll never understand what's happening now. Is it coming back, T? All of it? Maybe you're ready. I found this. This you need to see. You know what I learned from this, T? You knew. Blackmore told you he was gonna kill us, and what did you do? Nothing. His men call him the Colonel for a reason, because they follow his orders. And you did nothing. You might as well have killed us yourself! Who? Wh what are you do- What are you doing?! No s- Disturbing news talk. It's time for your history lesson. It's the company you keep that will often most affect your mental health talk. You may have tried to distance yourself, but alas, too little, far, far too late. Some people just won't take no for an answer. That fool tried to play me? Think you're too good for my game? Too bad for him, I'm the one who writes the rules. I'm going to show him what his life can be like alone. Don't need to be subtle about it.
A fiend of many names. Certainly his moniker, the Colonel, is evocative, but personally, I prefer the name he more commonly uses, Blackmore. More black than what, might I ask? More black than even you? So it would seem... What did he do? Hold it right there! Oh, Jesus, what did he do to her? Uh, I'm gonna be sick. You're gonna get the needle for this one, you sick son of a bitch! <laughs>